Hey, this is Josh from The Verge, and we're here with Dr. Paul E. Jacobs, the chairman and CEO of Qualcomm, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about what they're working on right now and uh, see what the future holds. In the last few years, there's been a real explosion in mobile, and you guys were there. Obviously, you're there on the kind of ground, literally on the ground floor of that. Yeah. Uh, and well, not literally, but <laughs> you're there very early. How has that how has that changed how how you do what you do? I mean, has it changed at all in the sense that uh, you're now consumer facing? You're making products. Snapdragon has become a kind of household name when it comes to mobile devices. Uh, has that changed the rate of innovation that you feel like you need to have? Has it changed your pace? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, we really had been trying to drive the wireless internet for a really long time. In the very early days of CDMA, we actually put the internet protocols inside the phone. Now, people didn't know it was in there because it looked like it was one of those Hayes modems, the ATDT, blah, 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 and made all the noises and stuff. Right. Now, what's cool is because smartphones are so popular, now there's other ways that we can innovate. So we used to innovate a lot about the radio technology. We still do a lot of that because there's so much data demand. But now we're innovating on the CPU, you know, the microprocessor technology, the graphics technology, you know, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity technology, just all these different areas where we can add like extra functionality into the device. And now we're actually going up another level. So we've been doing augmented reality, for example, so kind of platforms of technology still enabling other people to build their stuff on top of our stuff. So tell me what Vuforia is all about and what you guys are doing with it. It's a platform for app developers to build vision-based augmented reality applications. I can actually take my cell phone now. With this phone? Yeah, point okay. at this phone, recognize the surface of this phone, and I'll be able to superimpose instructions on top of it that show me how to perform a simple function. And it actually annotates the buttons I need to push oh, wow. in the order I need to push them. Wow, that is cool. Kind of like when you get directions in Google Maps and you're doing the kind of step-by-step, -step, instead of the navigation, you're kind of going, but it's for a physical object. That's right. Yeah, so that's any, really cool. Anytime you've ever seen one of those user manuals with a line drawing that's trying to show you how to point or put something together, perfect opportunity for augmented reality. Do you see applications for this for things like mechanics working on a car engine. Absolutely. You've got a camera above it, it can kind of tell you everything that's going on, you know, where all the pieces are. I mean, I guess a mechanic might know, but obviously every engine is different. That's so right. is that the kind of thing that this could be adapted for? Absolutely. It could be for repair. Yeah. It could be for do-it-yourself at home, learning to fix something. It could be for assembly of something that's complex. Anytime you need visual instructions to supplement and help you in a particular task with physical objects. Is this being put into play by any companies right now or is this still in the kind of testing phase? You know, this was developed internally at Qualcomm, but it was developed using our commercially available platform. So any developer or third party could build these applications and deploy them commercially today. Wow, very cool. Jay, thanks so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it.